Yes, I have purple eyebrows. Deal with it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. So, guys, last episode we made this dragon armor, which is pretty cool. I was kind of looking around at it, and it does have a special ability of flight, which is pretty cool. So if we have the entire set on, then we have flight. But here's something that I noticed. If I'm flying, since we have the totem ability of flight, so we have two different flights, one from the armor, one from our ability totems. If I have just one piece removed, I can't fly at all. Yeah, that's kind of an issue, kind of. It's something to be aware of. If I take off all of the armor, I can fly once again. But as soon as I put one piece on there, it's like, nope, you are not able to fly anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's something that I thought was a little unusual. But anyway, uh, we can fly regardless. I don't think we're going to be taking any pieces off. But if we ever do, that's something to keep in mind. So I just got done going through all of our different dimensions that we have, except for the Abyssal or the Voidcraft one, because I'm still not sure what happens. If I were to try to warp there, I don't want to try and do that and like crash the game or something. I should maybe I'll back it up sometime and just try it out. But anyway, uh, yeah, I went through all of the dimensions. So we did well, the nether in the end, we didn't have that before. I added the hunting dimension, Landia, Urbis, Deep Dark, Abyssal Wasteland, Dreadlands, Lost Cities, and then all of the uh, Galactic Craft dimensions, starting from the moon all the way down to Kepler 22b. Yeah, so we have all of those in our warpity warp thing, which is fantastic. So now we don't ever have to go downstairs to our little wall of warps. We can always just warp using our advanced dislocator, which is great. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to start off today was I wanted to look at making our next Ippolitary sword here. And I was seeing that does require a soul crystal. And I was like, you know, we farmed these up before soul crystal but we don't have any so i guess we farmed up enough that we needed or i left those in the hunting dimension one of the two let's go take a look now that we can warp there freely uh so this is a thing that we set up long long ago over here we we're spawning in the antlion overlords and yeah, there's, there's nothing here. <laughs> okay, so I guess I took down all of that stuff. What's in this chest? This chest has a hunting dimension frame and an interdiction torch, none of which is particularly useful to our endeavor here. Okay, so we need to spawn in... Oh yeah, I was just looking at what that block is. We need to spawn another antlion overlord and kill it. So I think what we're going to do, as we saw before, or as I talked about... That was weird. What the heck? That's not rendering great. <laughs> I was like, what happened to my warp? Uh, what we need to do is just go and get ourselves a mob crusher, I believe is what it's called. Mob crusher. We don't have one in here. Do those have EMC? Mob crusher. Crushy, crush, crush, crush. It does not have EMC. So let's go ahead and craft one of those. So we do need a machine frame, which we don't. Okay, you know what? Let's just go back to the overworld. We might have some of these things all ready to go. I'm not sure what we have on EMC. Machine frame, we do not have that, so let's learn that. So we'll craft one of these guys. That should be pretty easy. And we can just make like a full stack once this is done. What are we crafting? I guess it was making bronze or something. All right, so we'll learn this and we'll just grab a full stack of those so we don't have to worry about that again. So there's the machine frame. Plastic has EMC. So we have 36 of those. I'm not sure if we have learned those yet. We have not. Here's another stack of them, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so we got those things. Electrotine alloy and redstone alloy. We do not have these, but we will here very shortly. So there's that one, and then the redstone alloy as well. Both of these we've had to make so much of throughout the series. And now we can just freely make the, as much as we want, as long as we have the EMC to support it, that is. Uh, so we have those guys. Awesome. So it looks like we have a good portion of this. Then we also need a Signalum gear. Uh, that has EMC. I'm not sure if we have learned that, and we have now. Cool. All right, so we can make the gear. I'm not going to learn the gear because as long as we have the base materials, like we can always run that through a machine or whatever. Making the Signalum is like the hard part. So we have that. So if we do 
Was it, uh, I thought it was Volpoi's library. I can't remember what it is. We want the power mm, energy, energy upgrade. No, it's Tesla lib. My mistake, the Volp thing that I was searching for, I think that is for advanced rocketry. I'm not sure why I thought about that one. Anyway, uh, so these all have EMC. So I'm going to go ahead and learn all of these and then we'll throw those into our thing so we never have to craft these again. Okay, so we have our mob crusher here that has a range add-on of 12 and then we have a speed upgrade one and two and energy upgrade. I'm not sure if that's all we needed. Uh, looks like that encompasses the entire area down here. And then we have this glass block around. I don't remember why we had the glass block. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure we have this on top. So the mobs were spawning on top. Was this glass here to like prevent them from spawning on the side of it? Oh man, I don't know. It's been so long. Let's grab some more glass. It seems like that is kind of unfinished here. We'll just grab a little bit more. That's fine. We'll do that, that. Okay, so hopefully that'll prevent the monsters from spawning on here and staying in here. We want them to spawn, fall down here into the area where the mob crusher is going to get them and be crushed. Okay, well, I think we should be pretty well set to give this a test anyway. Let's eat a carrot, make sure our health will stay up, and then we'll just do one of those. And hopefully things work correctly. So that should just spawn in the antlion. I don't think there's anything special that we had to do. Although it doesn't appear to be spawning in anything, does it? Is it spinning faster? Oh, there it is. Okay. I think that might be enough. <laughs> we'll just turn that off right there. Four of those. Yeah, that should be good. So they're all dying. And did we collect the drops in this? Okay, so there's no drops that we got. Oh! Okay, so it doesn't collect these, I see. Okay, so we'll grab those and those, and there we go. So there is four quake hammers and four soul crystals. Awesome. So we can just leave this alone for now. If we need to go farm it more, we can easily go back in there and do that. So now that we have the soul crystals, oops, that's a hunting dimension. We need to go over here. Cool. So now that we have the soul crystals, we can uh, take a look at what we're doing here. Let's put the quake hammers away. We just need one of those to turn in that away, that away. Okay. Uh, so going back to this, we need a Gaia spirit ingot. Gaia spirit ingot. We'll craft one of, we'll craft one of those. So there's that the soul crystal, the Gaia spirit. Uh, we need 1000 RAK and then we need 200 blitz rod. Oh, okay. Well, we have more than enough of that. I was not sure if we did that, but I saw that it had EMC. So I knew that it was going to be easy enough for us to do that. And then 1,000 RAK. RAK. So I don't know exactly how much 1,000 is. I'll just fill up my inventory. That should be enough or very close to it, I would imagine. So that should be everything that we need. And then also on the other side, it's going to use our other uh, item level 115 sword. Okay, I think we should be good. So if we come over here and we do detect submit... Yeah, it just turned in everything, so we have it all, and that's going to give us a new upgraded version. Uh, knockback 5, Looting 50, Reaper 50, Auto Smelt 50. Yeah, uh, it has plus 500% attack speed, plus 200 attack damage, plus 10 reach distance, and plus 20 max health. That's crazy. Oh my goodness, so now we can reach blocks that far away and pretty much anything that we swing at in that distance, <laughs> that's just gonna get wrecked. Quest updated. Oh right, I think that's, I think you can redo these. I think that's why that quest gets updated. So the next sword, the uh, level five, if we wanted to do that, that's 2,000 more of the uh, RAK. We need all of these different things, which is fine. We can. Farm up all of these. All of this seems fine. It uh, does require a dragon heart and an 200 ultimate ingots. Okay, let's take a look at this. So that'll be knockback 10, sapping 4, corallium 5, looting 50, reaper 50, life mending 10. Hmm, is that good? I'm not sure if that's good, actually. Uh, Civ fortune sweeping edge 
50, multi shot three. What the heck? Smashing <laughs> 10. Knowledge of the Ages L. So, Knowledge of the Ages, I believe, takes mob drops and converts that into XP, I think. Is that right? I, it might be. I'm not sure. Uh, so, that's 300 attack damage, 20 health, uh, 10 reach distance. So, it's, I don't really know if it's worth upgrading to this one. I, I honestly don't know. We might do that like as the very last thing in this playthrough. I'm not sure, but I feel like having the Reaper 50, the Looting 50, that is more than enough, plus the 200 attack damage and the 10 reach distance. Like we can reach blocks way over there. Uh, I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I think if I put that on my offhand and I do that, I can place blocks that far away. Look at that, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's so good. Oh, obviously we need to see what Reaper 50 and Looting 50 looks like. Can I, oh, get wrecked from so far away. So we don't have like any of this stuff on us. Let's just take a look at the kind of drop rate, 48 raw pork chops, 16 experience, three tallow. What the heck? <laughs> I just heard a baby bird or uh, one of the little birds from the twilight around here right there the tiny bird it's so tiny it's gonna die where you at come here <laughs> oh i feel so bad about doing that but it's all in the name of science here so 15 feathers from that and then uh, we had what 16 of these things before i think that seems like an awful lot of stuff that we're getting now remember, looting doesn't mean you always get the amount of drops every single time. It's like random. Sometimes you'll get, you know, the full plus 50 effect. Sometimes you'll only get one or two. Uh, so a bighorn sheep, boop. Oh, I guess I've never killed one of these before. Did we only get, we still only get one wool, but 45 raw mutton, goodness. Well, I spent a few minutes there in the twilight just kind of playing around with the new sword and we ended up getting a tiny bird soul, a dwarf rabbit soul, and a wild boar soul. It took me a few attempts to get this and a many attempts to get this one, but the dwarf rabbit was on the first the first attempt. So yeah, if we ever want to spawn in large quantities of those using draconic evolution, we're now able to do that, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, that looting 50 is really, really good. So what I wanted to continue working on today, let's look at this energy condenser Mark II. Uh, so this required a whole lot of stuff here, Orb of Darkness, these Quantum Discs, Draconic Evolution, uh, Draconium Infused Obsidian. Let's take a look. So I have filled in all of the stuff that we can easily get, things that we either had or things that we can EMC for. So like these catalyzing glands we have so many of from our mob farm. Mechanical users are easily craftable. We've been making those for a long time. We've had the draconium infused obsidian and then the red matter we can EMC for. This blue matter is a little expensive, but yeah, we had all of this stuff ready to go. And then of course we had this extra energy condenser that we EMC'd for as well. So we have all of these things, which is great, but there is quite a few more things that we need. So orb of darkness might be one of the first ones we need to take a look at. So we need dull crystal and stone either in the arcane crafting or the basic crafting table. Uh, so dark crystal and some stone. Uh, we need the schmelterated version of stone. Let's learn dark crystal. I guess I've already done that and stone. Okay, so now we have those and we can just do it right here in this basic crafting table. So there we go, orb of darkness. And again, those are emc -able. I don't want those. Uh, so we'll learn that and we'll grab like a stack of those. We probably don't quite need a stack. Uh, so those just go here, here, there, and there. Awesome. So we have 37 extras of those. We will just put those back into EMC. Okay, let's do the corners now. So we need quantum discs for those. So iron is easy to get. Advanced circuit, I think we can craft those. I think we looked at those before. And amplification crystals, those have EMC, so we just need to craft one of those. So amplification crystal, let's queue that up. Yeah, we got everything for that. Okay, so that just has to go through the laser thing. It's just got to get the processor, and we'll have that very, very quickly. Advanced circuit does require some things. I wish this had EMC, but it doesn't. Do we have a... Whoop, oh, I thought that was done. Do we have a recipe for that? Advanced circuit, we do. So we needed, I think, four, right? Yeah, one for each of these. 
All right. Oh, I did I not type four in there? Next. Okay, and yeah, looks like we can do that. So we'll just queue that up to be done. It looks like that's going quite quickly here. Just got to do some of these copper wires, which, you know, it goes at the speed of our, uh, I can't even remember the name of the machine over here. The wire cutter. What is this thing? This is the metal press. Yeah. The immersive engineering metal press. It goes at the speed that machine is set to go at. Okay. But I think we should be about done now. So here's our advanced circuits and these amplification crystals we can EMC for. So we'll grab a bunch of those. Awesome. Just throw those all in the system here. So now we just need four of those guys and there it is. Awesome. So now boop, 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 boop. And there it is. Cool. So now that we have that done, I think I said so now quite a few times <laughs> in the last 30 seconds, I feel like we need 6x compressed obsidian. So 6x compressed obsidian. Aha. Uh -huh. So that means we need 5x compressed obsidian, then 4, then 3, then 2, then 1. Each one of the 6x requires 34 million EMC. I think we can afford that. All right. So obsidian we can make quite a bit let's just make 10 of those though put those away and here we go with the 6x and we have that learned so we need i don't even remember how many it said i think eight of those so there is one two three four five six seven eight goodbye all of our emc hmm those go in the corners like uh, so. Awesome. So we also need crystal chest, diamond chest. Do we have any chest learned? Not really. And we don't have any of those learned over here either. Might be an idea just to learn chest. Oh, you know what? We think we had those in there. So iron chest. That's easy enough for us to craft up. And that has EMC. We'll... Throw that in here, gold chest. Oop, no, we need to search over here, gold chest. Again, that is very easy for us to do. And then has EMC as well. Finally, the diamond chest. And get learned. Then crystal. This, the crystal chest, if you don't know, is pretty much the same thing as the diamond chest. The diamond chest has a large inventory, right? So it's really big in each tier from the iron chest, the gold chest gets progressively bigger. And then you get to this size. So from this one, you can turn it into an obsidian chest, I do believe. Let me look at this. Um, so you can turn the diamond chest into an obsidian chest, or you can turn it into a crystal chest. The obsidian chest, I think, is just blast resistant, and the crystal chest kind of shows you renderings of the items that are in there, but they're all the same size. Anyway, uh, so we want to turn that into a crystal chest, and that's just the, the diamond chest wrapped with glass. Very easy. So there we go. That one. Two more of those, please. So there is three of those all done. Cool. So now we just need these upgrades here and we are pretty much good to go. Now it's not just any upgrade, it's the magical or the ultimate. And none of those have EMC. So we're gonna have to bust out our old stuff and try and learn how to do these again. Unless I have them. I have four uh, upgrade speeds. That doesn't seem like enough. Okay, well, all of this stuff is pretty easy to do. Magical wood wrapped with apples gives you eight magical apples, right? And the magical wood you just craft with uh, gold and a bookshelf in your inventory, or you could do the enchanter way, whichever way you want to go. We'll probably do it this way because that's easier for us to do. And the enchanted ingot does have to be made with the enchanter with lapis and gold. So we'll use the enchanter for that one for sure. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and craft the rest of these off camera and then we'll continue on. So I thought we made an enchanter earlier on, but apparently we have not. So the enchanter is a fairly simple block to make. It just requires a machine block, two diamonds, three iron, and then any enchanted book. Doesn't really matter what that is. And that gives you the enchanter. So the enchanter here, uh, you can put in speed upgrades, right? 
So I just have the four of the ones that we already have in here to help speed this up. Uh, you can toggle the redstone stuff on there if you want to. But anyway, you just put the ingredients in that you want to do. Oh, you know what? It is bookshelves plus lapis. I guess we'll just do it this way since we already have this set up. Now you can see with the speed upgrades, we have four of those in there. It's not going super fast. It takes 16 seconds. If I remove those, it takes a minute 20, which is way slower. So you can see that speeds it up quite significantly. But another thing that we can do is we can add tick acceleration and speed it up that way. In fact, I think it's daytime. Let me go ahead and make it nighttime. And then that'll increase our tick acceleration bonus over here. And we should see this going quite quickly. Yeah, that's going a lot faster than 16 seconds, I would say, which is fantastic. And we're making all sorts of magical wood. So it's going to be the same thing for these other ones, the enchanted ingots. So that is just gold plus lapis. So go ahead and knock these out and then we'll be back. Whoops. So I was making the magical wood there and that was for the magical apples because it's eight apples around the magical wood to make eight magical apples. Well, with the enchanter, it is 16 apples plus a lapis to make 16 magical apples. So this was the better recipe. So I made all that magical wood essentially for nothing, but it's fine. It's like relatively inexpensive anyway. Uh, so I ended up making a full stack of the magical tier upgrades. 16 of those are in our enchanter still uh just down here right so that will make this go so much faster um so we have 16 down there and then i have 48 more of these but we're going to use four of those right here to make ourselves the energy condenser mark two so we can craft it let's go ahead and craft it and get like a big craft done for today which is awesome next step we're going to do this okay so now we can make as many of these as we want it does cost a million emc per item, but this guy is slightly different than the original energy condenser that we had before. So this one, you can see there's two inventory slots. In fact, let's grab the other energy condenser so we can see them side by side. So there is the Mark I and the Mark II. So this one just has one inventory and this one has two inventories. So if I want to take something like a star and I want to turn those into, I don't know, let's make something that's not super inexpensive how about signalum yeah that's gonna make a lot actually star but it's fine we'll just do it anyway so if i wanted to make signalum out of another star we put that in here and you can see it is it's making them right it's using the emc in here anyway if i want to do it in this one i do the same thing that done right so it's like <laughs> obviously so much better we're still waiting on this one and this one's already done so when we want to start converting things real fast, this is the way to go. It costs twice the amount this one does. And I think, I think you can pipe items into this and extract out of this one. And it's two it inputs into this inventory and it only extracts out of this inventory. Whereas this one, you'd have to filter, I think. Anyway, you really don't want to use this one for that purpose. So uh, <laughs> that's where we are now. So much better. EMC conversion item, which is going to be great. So the reason why you want to use these is if you're getting items coming into your system and you want to just condense them into like some high value EMC item, you just pump all the lo lesser value stuff into this and then it just pumps out the uh, higher value ones for you. So yeah, that's just one use for it. You can just use it for your day to day stuff instead of using this transmutation table if you want to. Mm, I'm sure we're going to find plenty of uses for this guy, but now we have learned in the transmutation table. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to make more of them and use these all over the place. So that takes care of that bookmark that we've had bookmarked for quite some time. Let's scroll down our quest book here. And this branch is now complete, which is awesome. So the next thing is, is a transmutation tablet. If we want to go down this route, and that does require a bunch of stuff here. Compressed palladium, magnesium, white gems, old. Oh, we can't do that because we haven't quite gotten to the ultimate Inga yet, have we? Lime matter. That requires green matter, cyan, blue, violet, purple, pink, magenta. <laughs> this stuff is so expensive. That's so crazy. Well, the ultimate ingot. Um... Okay, so I guess we should hit, take a look at this. So the Crystal Matrix Ingot, Volcanic Ingot. I'm not sure we have obtained that yet. 
a cyan matter crystal crystal teen ingots from extended crafting which is a crazy recipe again impregnated diamond comma why is that it got a comma at the end i'm not sure i think that might be a mistake pure fluex crystal plenary crystal pl plenary plenary i'm not sure how you pronounce that uh so that's men and we okay so there's like some craziness still coming up i think we're gonna hold off on this stuff for a future episode well, we only got a few more minutes left in the episode for today, so I was thinking we could finish up the episode by doing something that I wanted to do a while ago. Let's go and grab an Emmy controller here, and we'll come upstairs, and we'll learn it. Yes, these have EMC. There's a full stack. Do you guys remember the struggle it was to make one of these things? You guys remember this? Where we had to do the printed circuit boards, the crystal clusters... We had to do these reinforced alloys, which was these capacitors, which at the time took us literally forever to make. Now we can just easily be like, I want a full stack and here we go. So now we have these guys, that is so good. So I believe we can do that and place it back. But one thing that I wanna see though, can we use this exchanging gadget? Is that a thing? Can I do that? Uh, bound a block in my inventory. If I right click on here, what? I don't even know if it'll allow me to do that. So that's surface, uh, grid, horizontal, vertical. Yeah, maybe it won't do that because that is a, um, what do you call it? A tile entity? Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping that we'd be able to just like replace those blocks like that, but unfortunately it's not going to work. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I'm just going to go through here and replace all of these blocks <laughs> with the Emmy controllers. Not because we need to, more like because we can, right? Anyway, I'll be right back. Well, that's about as much as we can do without connecting the controller blocks to the main cube. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll power all of these guys up. We'll add in all of the blocks to connect everything. Very good. And we need to do this and then replace all of this nonsense over here. There we go. So that cleans that up significantly. That's something that's been bothering me for a very long time. And then also down here, yeah, we can get rid of this. So let's clear this out. I need these guys and I need these guys. And then of course we can get rid of this and then we need that. This wire that runs down the middle is no longer needed. Awesome. And now, yeah, we are looking a lot cleaner compared to what that was before where we were utilizing what little blocks we had. Now we're using, well, we have way more faces than what we actually need. Let's be completely honest here. Yeah, we're, we're a little overboard here, but I think that's fine. Now, one thing I do want to see though, if we grab... Oh, do I have the network tool in here? I don't see, oh, it's right here. I wanna see how much power we're using on our ME network, just out of curiosity. So we are currently using, if we switch this over to, yeah, Redstone, whoop, Redstone Flux, we're only using 1.23 thousand RF per tick. So 1,230 RF per tick. That's really not bad at all. And we're storing 4 million of it, I guess, which is cool. Um, do the dense energy cells have EMC? Oh, they do. So that's another thing that we're going to want to do here. I'm going to learn these and get a few of those just to stabilize out our power usage so we're not blinking on and off. Uh, put that back in here. We'll grab like a stack. We don't really need a stack, but we'll grab a stack. And then we'll figure out a better place for those. Now, I, I normally put those down here at the bottom so it looks like our heavy controller is actually sitting on something and not just weirdly floating. So we'll just kind of do one of these numbers, add a few of those in here, and those just store power. Like the ME controller blocks themselves store some power, and these are for additional power. So when you're doing a lot of crafting at once, or using a bunch of the system all at once, yeah, we have plenty of power backed up in all of these different things for us to utilize. So now if we come in here, we have a total of just under 30 million RF stored up and it is just uh, constantly gaining 
Maybe, is it gaining actually? That number is going down and then that went up to 17. Yeah, I guess it is doing it very slowly. It's registering the extra power that we're storing. Did the system just turn off? <laughs> what is it doing? That seems a little weird, doesn't it? But anyway, guys, we're gonna go ahead and call that an episode for today. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.